Hello, Mark here, aka Budweiser365, with another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to show you how to make as much healing salve as you want. This stuff is great, it restores 20% of your hit points. I'm going to show you where to get all the crafting supplies from. You can make this stuff for free, and as soon as you leave Vault 76. Anyway guys, on to the video. The first thing I do want to show you here, if you look under Perception here, I have a card called Green Thumb. It reaps twice as much when harvesting flora, so I'm going to get healing supplies twice as fast with this card. I know you're not going to have this as soon as you leave Vault 76, but I do recommend picking this up as soon as possible. It's great. Let you get double the crafting supplies here, makes your job twice as easy, and you can easily get... 100 healing salves in a half hour, so a little bit of your time, and you can always swap this green thumb card out for something else when you're not harvesting healing supplies, but I definitely do recommend picking this up. Anyway, let me show you all the locations on the map, how to do it. It's very, very quick and simple. It's not going to cost you any caps or any money. It's just going to cost you a little bit of time. As you can see on the map here, I'm right in front of Vault 76. This is the starting point for new players, and it is a free fast travel. So that's one of the great things about this. Now I'm going to move my mouse over here. If you see, there's a place called Moonshiner's Shack. This is where you're going to go to craft all your healing supplies. But what you want to do is from Vault 76, make your way down to Moonshiner's Shack. And then all the way down here, follow my mouse, all the way down here to Alpine River's Cabin. Right behind this cabin here are tons of healing supplies, and I'll show you how to get those. There's actually two streams intersecting each other. It's great, and I'm going to take this whole route on video for you here, show you how fast you could do this, and you really don't have to worry about stim packs or anything else. Anyway, guys, that's the route. Let me show you exactly how to do this. All right, now that you know the route, you can see I'm in front of Vault 76. I'm going to make my way down here, and I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do. You want to pick up what's called soot flowers here. So pick up as many of these as you can as you're heading out of Vault 76. And I'm going to make my way to this Moonshiner Shack here on the map. And you're going to see why. There's a cooking station at this Moonshiner Shack that we're going to use later on. And on your way down, you're going to want to pick up soot flowers. And you're going to see there's tons of them. And you don't exactly have to go this route. Just follow the flowers. They randomly generate every time that you start the game here. So... They're going to be an overabundance. You're never going to run out of them. Don't worry about picking them. And as you can see, tons and tons of these guys here. So I am getting two for every one of these I pick up. That's why I do recommend taking that perk card that I did show you before, and that can be swapped out. So I'm going to grab all of these that I possibly can. And as a new player, you don't have to worry about anything. There's only a couple level one ticks in this area. And right by this Moonshiner Shack, there is also a few in here. So... I'm going to kill those guys real quick. I'm going to pick up soot flowers. And on your way to, you're going to want to actually gather some wood. So you're going to need wood and soot flowers. And you're going to get the wood from the logs. All right, more soot flowers. And I'll show you what the logs look like. I do have some wood in stock here, so I'm not going to go crazy with the wood. Anyway, these are the logs. You hit E to gather. And it's going to be different on console. You see I got eight wood scraps. So I'm going to use that to make boiled water. I'm going to grab these soot flowers, and I'm going to make my way down to this pond that's on my left here. I know this route by heart. I do this all the time. I do this at least once a day. It takes me probably a good half hour to get as many supplies as I need here. And why I like this lake is sometimes there's fire caps down here on a log. Sometimes there's not. You can make um, a disease cure from that. And there's also the secondary supply that you need here. This is the other ingredient that you're going to need besides soot flour, wood. You're going to need these blood leaves. So gather wood, gather blood leaves, and gather the soot flowers. I'm going to make my way down to this Alpine River's cabin over here now. So let me get over to here. I'm going to go down here as fast as I possibly can. I got quite a few soot flowers. I got... Almost as much wood as I'm going to need here. I do want to grab some more of that, though. And you don't want to hold on to your crafting supplies because they will spoil in about an hour. So you do want to make these as fast as you possibly can. And like I said, you do have about an hour to do this here. So 
I'm gonna grab some more soot flowers. I'm gonna grab some more wood from these logs. And like I said, this is absolutely free to do. You could do this as many times as you want. That's all you have to do is when you're finished, change servers and come back and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Really, you're not gonna ever need stim packs besides uh, like healing a limb here and there or so, but stim packs really aren't that hard to come by either. Usually you can get those off of uh, different enemies. They'll drop them quite a bit. Like I said, a couple low-level enemies in this area. Nothing to really worry about. I'm still making my way towards this cabin down here. Gathering wood scraps. Gathering these soot flowers. And I do have tons of them already. Just so you know, I had zero in my inventory when I first started this, so... Why I like this cabin is... Sorry, I'm shaking around a little bit. Try not to make you too dizzy as I'm doing this. There's a stream down here with actually two streams side by side. And they have tons of these blood leaves. So... Alright, right towards the cabin here. We're going to go right through here. Lots and lots of flowers. And I really hope this helps you out. I'm level 51 right now, and I'm still using this trick because these things are invaluable at, to survive the wastelands here. And I really don't have to run out of food either. I took a, I took a perk that I really don't have to carry too much food. I could eat these corpses here and get my food back. A little disgusting, but it saves your carry weight by not having a ton of food here. Anyway, right over here, guys, is that stream that I was talking about. And you're gonna see that I'm in the middle of two streams. There's one stream here. There's that second stream. As you can see, there's two streams. I'm gonna, I'm gonna farm this stream over here first. I'm gonna grab these blood leaves. Grab all of these here. And I, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible for you, but I'm gonna show you how fast I can make healing salve. And right now, I have them slotted. I only have two on me, but I always keep them in my quick inventory because, like I said, they're invaluable. 20% of your hit points back as soon as you pop one of these here. Not as many blood leaves as I thought there was going to be. They're hit and miss. You are going to get a ton of them. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by these ghouls here. All right, they're dead. Like I said, nothing really too much to worry about. Even as a low level player, they don't do too much damage to you, so. And it's not gonna let me pick this one up. I guess that one's buried too far in the dirt. All right, let's head over to the other stream over here and I'm gonna grab the rest of these crafting supplies. And I'm probably off the mark here. Where is that stream? I tend to get lost really easily, so. I rely on my map quite a bit. Grab more of these flowers here. And I lost that other stream. I have a bad sense of direction. I really do. Alright, there's the one stream that I just harvested. There's that second stream. Okay. Sorry about getting lost. Like I said, I have a horrible sense of directions. I wish I had a GPS here, but... Grabbing these blood leaves... Alright, I'm just going to do this once and I'm going to show you exactly what to do after this. Now, you're going to need water, and the fastest way to get water, and don't worry about rads. Go right up to the water and just keep jam and collect. And you're going to see my rads are going up, but... Let me see here. Let me see how many I have in, in my inventory. I'm going to go to my aid. And it's called dirty water here. So, I had none before, but you can see how fast you can grab it. I already have 33. But like I said, don't worry about rads. You're going to get rad away like crazy off the ghouls that you kill. And you're going to actually sell more than you actually use. And I'm just jamming on my R button there. And I'm going to grab some dirty water. And I have 55 in my inventory. All right, I'm just going to grab a few more of these. Cause... All right. What the nice thing about this is once you're done grabbing all of your supplies, you're going to want to fast travel. Fast travel to Vault 76 is 100% free. So, 
This is awesome. Don't have to spend caps. You could do this over and over again. Now I'm going to go to that hunting cabin that I showed you before. I'm going to go to that cooking station. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these supplies. All right, the last step, guys, is we're going to the Moonshiner Shack, and I'm going to get there as soon as possible. All right, we're going to go to this crafting station here. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, that you're going to have this recipe right off the bat. And if you don't, you can get it from a town. Go under drinks, go to boiled water. You're going to make all the boiled water that you possibly can here. And you're going to get experience too to help you level up. So, first up, this is why you needed the wood. The wood and the water from the pond. We're going to make as much boiled water as possible here. Like I said, super simple. And I did have enough wood, so that was good. I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to go to healing. And as you see here, it's called healing salve. And there's the boiled water, the soot flower, and the blood leaf. So... I'm just going to keep making these things until all my blood leaves and everything are gone. And I'm just jamming on my button here. But as you can see, I'm making healing salves. And like I said, I believe I had these recipes right off the bat here. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if not, they do sell them in the town. All right. Let me get into my inventory here and show you exactly what I have. I crafted those healing salves. And I have 20 just from that little trip that I made there. And you could do this as much as you want. And like I said, I usually will leave with about 100. And the next thing you want to do here, I'm not sure what I'm getting attacked by. But anyway, when you're all finished up, obviously you've took all the crafting materials from the world. You're going to want to go to social. Click on your name. Go to leave world. And what that does is... It disconnects you from the server, you hit play one more time, you spawn back at Vault 76, and you do it all over again. Until you're happy with as many healing salves as you have, and you know guys, you can survive the waste as long as you want. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I hope it helped you out, and if it did, please hit that like button. And like always guys, please subscribe, I greatly appreciate you watching.